If you're downloading your objects from a, a 3D model site like TurboSquid or Clara, anything like that, um, sometimes you'll run into issues where your object downloads independently or not in a hierarchy with, um, with your textures. And I just wanted to go through one way that you might reconnect those um, that's pretty pretty quick and pretty reasonably easy. So I have this uh, sort of Egypt column papyrus file here, and it's going to give me a bunch of different options. And in this case, I can see that there's an OBJ file, which is going to be the object itself, and a PNG file, and two PNG files, and, and those are the, the three that I want to go with just for now. Um, it, probably wouldn't hurt if I just went through and downloaded all of these just in case just have them um, but for now I know I need those three um, so I already downloaded them and I have them here and I'm just gonna bring them in and they it's good to be organized about this stuff and it might be good to put your object in maybe your prefabs folder and then these into your materials folder but just um, so that you see everything all at the same time I'm gonna leave them in the top of the hierarchy for this occasion so I'll start off by dragging my column in here and it's pretty large so I'm just gonna center it up there and um, the next thing that I need to do is is have a material that's going to apply to this column um, so what I want to do is create a new material. If I right click anywhere on here and just hit create and material, um, it'll give me this little orb and I can just call that uh, column. Um, and basically I'm going to map these two onto this column here. Um, just by going over here with this selected, it'll show up in the inspector and these little circles next to um, albedo and then normal map are the two that I'm, I'm paying attention to. Normal map is the sort of purpley looking one, which will give us some level of depth and detail um, added to the albedo. So now that I have it in there, I just need to go find my um, sort of column uh, papai. Uh, it's shortened down just so that it fits there, but I'll select that, and so it looks like it's it's sort of mapped on there for the most part. And I also want to, and I at this point I can drag it out here and, and identify it, and it, it maps on pretty darn well. Um, it looks accurate to the original site, um, which I closed out, so I'll pull that back up again. Um, but it looks pretty darn good, and now if I want to add that normal map, I'll just do the exact same thing here. Click normal map and then find the corresponding one. And that will just give that extra little level of detail. If I hit command Z, you can see I'll sort of skip back and forth too. Uh, and it just like makes some of those details just pop a little bit. All right, and so that's all you'll need to do. And then from there, you can take this and create a prefab um, by dragging it down here and saying, create prefab or, or prefab variant. Um, if you want to use this a whole bunch of different times, that might be just a way to save time down the line, um, but it's not necessary. Um, this is just, if you need to put it in the scene, that's all you got to do. All right.